Hey everybody, it's Fire Dog 529. This is the start of my garden. In one of my last videos, I made the comment of gardening is my uh, biggest shortcoming in my preps. So this is what I've been working on today. And it was a nice pretty Sunday, so it was a good day to do it. Um, I turned the soil and I worked some uh, some fertilizer into it and I'm going to build it up a little bit more. Right now I've got my seeds uh, planted in cups, getting them ready to sprout before I put them in here. Um, but this is my first attempt at it. I, uh, you know, from everything I've read, it seems like it's not a terribly difficult thing to do, and you know, it's it's something that I desperately need to learn how to do. Um, I don't I don't pretend to know anything about gardening. I've uh, I've killed most everything I've planted before, <clears throat> and uh, except for that aloe vera plant, he's still going strong. But um, anyway, I wanted to uh, kind of chronicle the progress of my garden to see if uh, to see if I do any good or not this year. So this will be video one from it. And uh, I also wanted to uh, provoke your thought a little bit, uh, kind of the way Moose Camps did me. Uh, he had a contest uh, that just ended, and. Uh, his question was where are the holes in your preps and the question has been asked a hundred times before I'm sure but um I uh I put a video together for him and the the holes that I outlined were my solar energy not having a uh, battery bank yet and um my reloading not having all the caliber changes that I that I want uh, water not having near enough stored at the house and uh, um, gardening so um, here's the the start of the fixing the hole in the gardening so the thought that I wanted to provoke is um, if something were to happen tomorrow if tonight at midnight a switch flipped and the world as we know it today was not here tomorrow would you be ready I know I wouldn't I uh, the the contest that moose camps did really got me to thinking and um, the the holes in my preps were just way too long to list in a video um, especially in a contest entry but um, last night I sat down and made a list of the things that I really needed to work on <clears throat> and I ran out of room to write uh, there's just way too many areas that I'm lacking for me to call myself ready um, and sure I'm better off than somebody who's hasn't done anything but I'm, uh, I'm not nearly as ready as as I would like to be um, uh, I've stocked up a little bit more water since I made the video. Not much, but a little. Y'all saw the uh, garden that I've started. Um, of course, if something happened in tomorrow, the, the garden wouldn't do me any good. But um, I just there's there's so many areas that I'm lacking that is just it's it's almost scary um, I've got two generators both of them gasoline operated and I've got 10 gas cans and every single one of them are empty I just went and checked and I, I mean how can how can I consciously call myself a prepper with that many empty gas cans uh, both of the generators are full and all the vehicles are full but I don't have any gas cans that are full and uh you know, with gas in upwards of almost four dollars a gallon now, it's uh, it's it's not an easy endeavor to take ten ten gas cans and go fill them up. Um, you're talking a pretty good chunk of change now. 
so uh, the I guess just what I want people to think about is if something happened tomorrow would you be ready because I sure wouldn't and um, and it's almost I guess scary to think about and no it's not a doom and a gloom thing it's just realizing what what you need that you won't have you know I've got a bug out bag I've got guns I've got ammo I've got around about three months of food stored up but um it's uh it's not enough I, I don't have a um a catalytic heater that runs off propane to heat my house um I don't believe that I have near enough food stored up and uh there's just there's so many areas that uh that I need to work on and uh it's it's gonna take time and you know, we're, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. I'm not guaranteed to have the time that I need to do it, but um, I'm doing something. And uh, I guess as long as I am doing something, I'll be better off. But just uh, look at what you've got and look at what you think think you need and um, and see if what you need outweighs what you have. Um, I think it does with me. Um, I'll uh, I'll stop the camera and I'll, I'll show you the list that I made of, of what all that I need for uh, to make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay, this is a list I made, and I I transposed it on a dry erase board. I figured it'd be a little bit easier to read, <clears throat> but. I want to complete my bug out buckets, which are just some uh, five gallon buckets I'm going to put together that's got an assortment of food. Instead of one bucket having 25 pounds of rice in it and one bucket having 25 pounds of flour in it, if we've got to leave quick, fast, in a hurry, we can grab one bucket and at least we'll know we'll have an assortment of food and not, you know, 25 pounds of flour. Um, I'd like to get. Uh, about 50 more gallons of water stored. I'd like to find an alternative water source. Um, ideally, I'd like to drill a, a little hand well on my property. I want a food dehydrator, a propane heater, dies for my 3030, dies for my 7 millimeter, and also dies for my uh, 40 S and W, uh, an axe and a handsaw, and other various hand tools that I don't have. Plant garden. Uh, I'd like to get five extra big propane tanks, another 125 pounds of rice, another 150 pounds of beans. I figure that with what I've already got will be about a six months food supply. I need to get a bow and arrow or a crossbow, something with recoverable ammunition that, uh, that I can reuse over and over again. A uh, GMRS base station. Uh, my brother's got some GMRS portables and uh, we got together and he was going to get the portables and I was going to get the base station and we'd have communications. I need to get some animal traps. I need to get some means of water purification other than the tab tablets like the uh, the big Berkey water filters or something like that. And I need to prep my bug out location. And uh, again, this isn't everything that I'm lacking. This is just uh, some things that I thought of last night. And... Uh, Looking at the list, it's kind of intimidating. It's um, it seems like I've gotten I've got more to do than I have than I have gotten done. But um, I guess it'll all just happen over time. I mean, uh, everything on here costs money. Um, everything except for the plant a garden. Uh, I happen to have the timbers, so I cut them to the size that I wanted, and I happen to have uh, several bags of the potting soil that I mixed in with the earth and I had already bought purchased seeds a little while back so I've got them sprouting right now but uh, everything else on here costs money and uh, that's just another thing I'm lacking right now so uh, anyway I just wanted to I guess provoke a little thought and have everybody think about uh, if something happens tomorrow are you going to be ready because I'm surely not anyway I hope it gets you thinking
Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.